Hello everyone, welcome back again. In this video, we will look at WebView in a .NET multi-platform application UI, .NET Mavi, using the Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. The .NET multi-platform application UI, .NET Mavi WebView displays remote web pages, local HTML files, and HTML strings in an app. The content displayed a web view includes con uh, support for cascading style sheet, CSS, and JavaScript. By default, .NET Maui projects, project, .NET Maui projects include a platform permission required for web view to display a remote web page. So enough of all the talking, let's get into the real stuff. So as you can see here now, before we get to it, yeah, I'm just going to briefly take you through how you can download and install the support for .NET Maui inside the Visual Studio. So I have a Visual Studio installer open. So to, to, to get us going, let's click on the modify. So this is a Visual Studio Community 22, 2022, yeah? So we click on the modify. So here, as you can see, we've been setting to the workflow. So if if you get into this page, make sure that you've got this bus this bus checked. As you can see, I've already got it checked because I've already downloaded and so you saw the the multi platform application UI development, right? So this is basically for um, to help you build Android, iOS, Windows, and Mac Mac apps from a single code base. Yeah. So enough of all of that, let's get to the real stuff. So I, let's go to the Visual Studio. And I've got the Visual Studio um, open. So we're going to create a new project, a new .NET Mari project. Here, we go, we go scroll down. So as you can see, we're going to select the .NET Mari app here. Yeah? And we click on the next. Here, you can configure the project details, but we're not going to look too much into that. So I'm just going to click on next. So, and we created the application. This might take a while, so I'm just going to um, pause the video while the whole thing loads. So, well, it didn't take it a while. So now we have the project loaded. So it comes with a bunch of templates files. So we're just going to remove this scroll view template. And we come inside the code behind, yeah. And we have to, we're going to remove this as well, this event on counter, on counter click events, yeah? So we're going to remove this as well. And just going to comment on this as well. So now we, we come back to the, the main page. So as you can see, we've got nothing here really. So we can get started by just adding the web view straight up on the XAML. So web view. So here, obviously, you can just add the source, the source of the web view. So here we're actually opening the sky sports, right? So once we click on the run, this uh, let's run it inside a, uh, an Android emulator. Yeah, so we're just going to briefly run it. I'm just going to pause it while the whole thing loads. So as you can see, we've got this um, the skysports.com open inside the app, our app here. So basically, this is just um, uh, the hard-coded um, URI. But obviously, we can also add the URI dynamically. So that's what we're going to have a look at. So we're just going to stop the application from running. So instead of adding the the URI directly from here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to give our web view a name. So you can do that by using the X name. So we're just going to call it web view with small with small cap. Yeah. So uh, so from here, obviously, we come inside the code behind. Yeah. So right after the initialized component. We can set our web view. We can call our web view here. So as you can see, it's showing up here. So dot source. So dot source. 
is equal to. So here we can either um, obviously if it, if we is coming up dynamically, we can we can initialize the string and call it source. So we put the source here, and and we can actually put our source URI here. As well. So basically, we can also do it like this, and it, it will run fine. So let's let's run this to have to see. So if we come back to the XAML code here, we remove the URI and we actually put this web view here, and we actually calling it here, web view dot source here. Yeah? So let's let's run it to see if we, it's gonna come up here. So I'm just gonna okay. So I might run very quickly. So as you can see here now, we've got the the web view or the web content being displayed inside our our app. Yeah. So I'm just gonna pause it and let's also look at another way of doing it, right? So we come inside uh, the XAML again. So here we're going to remove the web view code altogether from here, right? So inside the content page, we're going to add we're gonna give our content page a name. So it's X name. And we're going to call it content. So we give this uh, uh, man, it's X name, sorry. And we, we call this content. Name, name, name. Yeah. So here, this content. So we can call it. We can call this content inside our code. So I'm just going to remove this bit here. We're just going to leave the source as it is here. And in, so this time here, yeah, instead of Sky Sports here, yeah, we're going to make it BT Sports. Yeah. So we're going to make this BT Sports. So here, this is what we're going to do. We call the content, right? Then dot content. So we're gonna set it to a new web view. Um, actually, this is what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna we're gonna initialize the variable the variable wv for web view is equal to a new a new web view. So here, so the content, the content, we're gonna set it to the WV for web view, right? So now you can set the the source for the WV for web view. WV dot source is equal to um, source source URI. So we can say WV. Dot reload. So this will load the, the URI. So so now once we run it, we're supposed to get a um, uh, BT sports. So if we look at the emulator, okay, it's, it's gone now. So let's let's run it to see if we get the BT sports that time. So I'm just gonna pause it while the whole thing loads. It might it would take a very few moments. So there's a mistake here. So it's btspot.com is is a wrong URI. So I'm just going to change it here. So let's 
So it's a bt.com forward slash sports. So I'm just gonna paste the, the correct URI. So it's a bt.com sports. So. Yeah, so we run it again. So that's basically the reason why nothing was showing. Okay, so as you can see here now, we've actually got a btsports.com coming up now. So as you can see, it's, uh, it's very simple to deal with uh, web view inside of the .NET application. Yeah? Basically, we can also add the local HTML, but this will be in the next video, right? And this same code base, obviously, we can run it inside a, we can run it inside a Windows machine, yeah? So let's try that. So this same code base, we can open it on a on a Windows app. So let's see what actually comes out of it. So as you can see here now, this same code base is running on a Windows, I mean Windows 11 or Windows 10, yeah. So as you can see, it's a very simple stuff or simple way to get you started in terms of using the web view. So I'm just going to leave the video here. But once again, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.